man. So, I could not believe that I've got someone in here telling me that Bagel King is. I would. I'm meant to tell you, I feel sick. Brother, I feel sick that Bagel you're King, what? Bagel Bro, King is an absolute never. spin-off. Of it's what? Bagel bite. Bagel, bagel bite. Bagel bite. Yeah, bagel listen bite. to it. Fam, listen to it. Bagel, bagel bite. bite. Bagel bite is the original one. You're a liar. What Stop are you talking it. about? Bro. Everybody bagel knows King. Bagel King. Everybody. Bro, bro. everybody. Everybody. How long has it been there? How long has it been there? I don't even care. Has it? I don't even care. I've seven years I've been there. What do you mean? Bagel King has been there Bro, who knows? Brother, who knows Bagel Bite? What? Who knows Bagel Bite? What are you talking about? I've heard Bagel King on the tracks. Don't, don't lie. Don't lie. How many, you my guy, how many years. references? Chopper Chops mixed it. I don't even know when it come out. What are you talking Chopper about? Chopper how Chopper many Chopper references in tracks have you heard Bagel King, my Bruh, you know how what, yeah? references? Bagel Bite. You never yeah, heard that. You, you never heard that. What do you mean? Bro, all I'm hearing about is bear robberies. Yeah. Bear. Wait, is it even it's open? Bagel, yeah, do you know why? It's open. Do you know why? I got shot. Do you know why? Because it's nice down here. What are you talking about? It's nice down here. <laughs> Man got nice shot in bagel, is it open still? Bro, I go Bagel King at five in the morning, there's 30 people there. But it's a matter of what time it's there. What, Bagel King? Bomb Jake's just outside it, plotting. Nah, 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 nah. Yeah, exactly. I never saw that. I don't believe it. You what, you've got- Do you know how sick Bagel King is now? Do you know how sick it is now? During lockdown, they did have security outside. You got security During lockdown, they did have security outside. Yeah, we do, we do, we do. We do, we do. But bro, to be honest, it's because down here, it's nice, bro. South has got bodegas. Bro. Stop saying that. That's they got bad fellas. Yeah, that's, 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 that's why everything's bro. That's, that's why crazy. everything's so close knit. You lot got bodegas. I, I don't believe that, bro. <laughs> and you know what's crazy, bro? You man don't even have flats, bro. Like proper flats. What I'm walking about, bro. I walk down the road. What like bro. estates? Yeah, bro. I walk down the road. Yeah. I was like, I was like to my boy, what is this their flat? He was like, yeah, this is their flat. I was like, bro, this. Where, what ends are you from? It looked too nice. My bridge is right here, fam. What? Which ends are you from? Which ends are you living in? But uh, where are you living now, though? Still south, yeah, yeah. Come on, brother. Man. There's hella estates in West. Yeah, bro, hella, yeah bro. Do you know what it is as well? Yeah, this is this is the thing with West though, which mm. is different to South. Mm. You see, when you go to South, a lot of the time you can just see the estates just from, like, you could be in Brixton High Street and see estates. Yeah, a lot of the estates where where we're from are behind like roads. It's almost like they're almost hidden to try and make the area look nice. So uh, you can go to an area in I Western think, Oh yeah, this area. You know, like originally, see like this area here, yeah? Notting Hill. Um, traditionally, yeah. they actually tried to um, build a wall mm-hmm. where they had like the, like the nice houses and okay. then literally the okay. shit hole over there. Do you understand what I'm saying? Okay. And then this area, like a big part of this area was a shit hole until okay. People had money and started buying up shit and then getting okay. rid of that. Do you understand what I'm saying? Okay. So even like one of one of the estates that I grew up on, yeah, you would if you weren't from there, you would never see it. Okay. Because you just go by, by the road until you take one left and you go down the road and then it's like literally just bare blocks. So and it's shit like, like that. it's bare glitter in the forefront and yeah, yeah, that yeah, is dirty. Yeah, 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 oh, so yeah, you look yeah. fake. You see it? <laughs> <laughs> We're real. We're real. You get me? We're from the mud. We showed the mud. You get me? <laughs> That's what we do. Now you know what you. What I will say is though, South, like, has had some historical Trust politics, mm. but West, a section of West, has as well. So when you look at like Northwest London in particular, yeah. Mm-hmm. So you look at like Halsden, Church Road, yeah. um, Stonebridge. Then you got Harrow Road, and then you got Labbot Grove. I feel like some of the Labbot Grove youths might get onto me for saying this, but I feel like. Mm-hmm. They're not as active as they once oh, were. That. That's People it, no, but do you know what, bro? Themselves. Do you know what, bro? Uh, it, I know. No, it, but I know. That. No, no, bro, that's saying. across the border now. Do you get it? All right. It's not, it's not, it's the same in South. Nothing's active no more, bro. Serious? Everything's like, bro, everything's like, like, obviously the youngers are about now, but it's not, it's not the same, bro. Like, I remember I used to come out of my ends and it was active. Like, yeah. I live in state like literally opposite Clapham Common Park where they do the SW4 yeah, 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 yeah. so I live I live there so I remember like man used to come out of my estate and it was every, every summer day. was mad yeah, yeah, yeah. mad yeah, yeah. crazy you that's like su- now, summer was like, what summer traditionally summer was a time where it was like you look forward to it but you know there's bare bodies mm. on summer in summertime because mm. that's when everyone's out yeah that's 100%. when everyone's out these these times see like I mean 
Now it's supposed to be warm, but see, like today we're recording the weather's how it is Crazy. or whatnot. Yeah, More yeah, time, yeah. man, are just in their yard or whatnot. Trust me, if, trust if me. someone's going to roll up, they've just gone out actively on a we're going to plot and do yeah, whatnot. Yeah, yeah, come but on. see when the summer is is how it is, man, are just outside sitting on the wall. Northwest, west than that, heaving with it, bro. That heaving. Man is just getting shot on the high street and all kinds of stuff. Oh, Their no, thing no. is very serious. That's why, like, Absolutely. there was like loads of things like we could have sat and talked about or whatnot. But you gotta understand that he comes from a place where it is like it's not. It hasn't changed. Really. Mm. Do you get mm. what I'm saying? It hasn't changed. There's still a historical beef that has been going on for such a long time that even a lot of them, the younger lot, don't, probably don't even know why it is how it is. They've just mm. grown up in that. Do you mm. get what I'm saying? Mm. And it's just, and still every day, like you're hearing about this man getting licked down, and, you know, this guy's gone jail and all of these type of things. Like it's still happening a lot over there. In like West West, not, not as much, but you did get like some of them using, oh bro. Yeah, it was there. Yeah, there was a time where it was just bare kidnappings and all kinds of shit. But I did always feel like South. Yeah, it was South active, always bro. just seemed like it was just yeah, just active. constant, to be honest, constant crud all of the time. How you you don't live? I don't even know if you want to put that out there. But you live around this area, like this. I don't live in Grove. No, I live, okay. I'm from Westwood. Because I know, like, imagine living in this area, knowing that Nottingham carn- carnival was happening here, bro. Like carnival was active. Like yeah, being yeah. in carnival was active yeah 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 like i remember bro man used to be in carnival i just see people running yeah 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. brother you don't even know what's happening yeah, bro. Yeah, 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 you just yeah. see a crowd running you just that. know you have to run right brother how many times have i just seen donny yeah 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 just cut just cut and i'm with him i'm just and i'm running bro i'm like why are you, why you know what has been my de- to my detriment uh-huh like i before when certain things was happening my curiosity is so loud, I needed to see what was going on. <laughs> you know, like you can hear bottles smashing, you could hear, you might even hear a, a gunshot and that. There was True. something in me no. that needed to know what was going on. Yeah, yeah. Do you know yeah, what? Yeah, okay, yeah. I'll tell you a story quick, yeah? Yeah. One day I was DJing in, um, in Scala, mm. King's Cross, right? Mm. And um, after I finished playing or whatnot, I'm like watching the... I was playing in room two. Yeah. So I'm downstairs in the main room now, yeah? Mm. I remember Heartless Crew was about to come on, okay. about to do their thing whatnot, yeah? So they're changing over. I think Mighty Mo was talking on the mic, whatever. And then, like, I just, I'm standing there, I see, like, a group of men walk past me, but I'm in a club, innit? I'm not yeah, thinking yeah. nothing of nothing. Of course, and you're yeah? in the vibes. You're in the yeah, vibes. it's on the vibes yeah, yeah. thing, yeah? I don't know where my bridges are at this point, no. Anyway, next minute. Bang! Now I'm like, raw. Like everyone, like literally, like, you know, like that. Yeah, of course. The then stars. everyone just starts getting the fuck out of there, yeah? Now, in my head, I'm like, I'm like, slowly getting the fuck out of there. I'm not like proper getting the fuck out of there, but I'm just kind of like, rah, shit, right, that sounds like a gunshot, and right, that sounds kind of yeah, close. So you. I'm just kind of like, I'm seeing everyone trying to get out and whatnot, and then I'm like, then I'm seeing everyone trying to get out like a small little door like that, yeah? Mm-hmm. So, like, as I'm trying Trampling to get out the door, my, then it's set in my head, rah. There's a gunman in the dance. And he was right next to me when he shot whoever he shot, yeah? So now, I'm trying to get the fuck out of there. So I'm literally trying to get out and pulling weave. I'm, yeah, I'm doing all of this now. I've got weave in my head. I've got all kinds of shit. <laughs> Brother, I'm trying to get out. But then, the curiosity in me was like, what's going on? I need to go back in. Yeah, you're just moving you're mad. Man. You're a you're, crazy he's moving mad. mad. Do you know go what, Callum? You're moving mad. Do you know Bro, what, Callum? Go back Do you know in. what? I, I keep Guess what? Wait, wait, wait. Guess what, Callum? You went back in. I went back You're in. Bro, let me, tell you, let me tell you who you are. Let me tell you who wait, you are. Let me tell you who you are. Wait, how old are you? Them, you know them Donnies in the like, horror movies and that? That you're like, bruv, why are you going back? Bro? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's you're that Donny, bro. Yeah, I was like, what? Back See me? I'm the Donny that's going to leave. And I saw the Don on the floor. The Don was on the floor. He had a hole in his face. He was like, he was out cold. Security had the hand over his thing, over his head, over his like, hand like, over his face like this. And I was standing there thinking it was just the security man and him. And I was thinking, rah, like, where's his Dons? Obviously, his Dons wasn't there. Everyone got out of there. And he was just on his own. And I, I knew immediately that he, this you just ain't making it. But also, I think, like, there was a part of me that was, like, that that was so sad that that happened to him. Yeah, but man. there was also That's an element of relief that it wasn't my Don. Yeah. Do you get what I'm saying? Because I, I didn't that. know where they were. And like, so when something like that happens, you have that moment of shit. Like, is everyone, you, obviously you're on that, like, I need to get out of here mode. Yeah. And then it's like, wait, hold on, shit. 
yeah. where's my guy? Like, yeah, 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 you yeah. Get me? You, you, you tend to realize, but do you feel like sometimes I think about um, the culture in general, and I'm just like, why do we tend to put ourselves down like like dogs? Why do we tend to do that all the time? Why Elaborate. Always? So, for example, bro, like. I just never understood, even though I grew up in, in a mad ends, like, I never understood the whole post-Cold War thing. I never got it, bro. I never understood why a man would be in a block, pissy blocks, you know, when nitties are about and that, and just be like, yeah, this is ends, I'm repping this, my man's over there, oh, what, my man touched my man, so I have to touch my guy, da 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 da, da. and, it, you know, the circle continues. I never understood why you would rep pissy blocks. Do you know, I, I know, I know. It. But you know how it starts, though. It Usually it starts from one man. You know that? Yeah, of course. Um, like the reason why I say that is that, like, all it takes, yeah, is for one person to be from a certain area or one you or whatnot, yeah, to do some type of madness or think about doing some type of madness and make everyone feel like, yo, this is where we're from and this is the reason why we've got to do... Or, you know, like, no. Let's say this, yeah. Me and you, I go to a school and you go to a different school, mm -hmm. yeah. You live in a, on, a, on a block, I live in a different block. Yeah. But we, our blocks don't have no type of issue. Yeah, yeah. But obviously on my estate, my brethren are my brethren. Yeah. And on your estate, your brethren are your brethren. And what one thing that we're not taking into consideration is a lot of the time, like one of my brethren, whether it be my parent or one of my brethren's parents, probably mm -hmm. knows one of your parents or one of your brethren's parents. But we don't give a fuck about that. Yeah, I'm yeah. just on my estate with my, yeah, you know yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. Now... For whatever reason, me and you see each other on the bus and we have some type of words. It's stern. Yeah, yeah. 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 Now you might punch me up. So mm -hmm. I go back on the block now and I tell a man named Ra, my man from yeah, such and such yeah, ends yeah, yeah. did what not. Yeah. Ra, come and go and ride out on man. Yeah, and, yeah, 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 so then now next minute you know, I'm coming back to where you are or yeah. trying to link you on the same bus again yeah. to do X, Y and Z to you. Mm -hmm. And then before you know it now, we're trapped in this thing yeah. where it's like, yeah, I'm kind of repping this and all it takes is now is mm -hmm. someone to die yeah. once one person dies it's, it's, then that's, that's it because it. like, then how how are you going to tell if say you then killed my brethren mm -hmm. yeah that lives on my block or whatever yeah, yeah. yeah how is anyone going to tell me allow it now bro but this is what as I'm a big saying. man we can reason. Yeah. Do you understand what I'm saying? And yeah. if you've got man, if you've got older lots from the block here yeah, who yeah. can make phone calls and yeah. bring people together in that, then yeah. that's one thing. But how many of them do we have now? Like how many, that's a conversation as well. How many older man can actually reach younger the, long, the younger lot and squash beef? To be real, I'll be honest with you. At that time when I was young, there was none. There was no older that was squashing beef. There was none of that. But it's it's based off of just guidance. No one has, no one actually has guidance, or no one has a sense of faith, bro. Like a lot of man them are out here faithless. Like they're just, they're just moving through life, just taking any sense of addiction. Because in this world, we're all flawed, but we're all addicted to something. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, for real. Whether it's the ego, whether it's chicks, whether it's poor, mm. whatever the scenario may be, bro, we're all addicted to something. Facts. Me and my brethren have this concept called crack. Everybody's on crack. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you know yeah, what I mean? Yeah, so yeah, so yeah, let's yeah. look at crack as sin, yeah? That crack is sin, isn't it? Cool. Right. Everybody's a crackhead, bro. You just, need, you just need to figure out what type of crack man is taking. Do you understand what I'm saying, my bro? Do you understand what I'm saying? Do you, do you get it? You just need to understand what type of crack man's taking? So what time, like, I'll see certain situations, like you're in a party, bro, for example, like what we see as normal is normal because we're in the experience. Do you right. get it? Yeah, yeah. Like, for example, a road man, what he's doing is normal to him, you know? They yeah. ain't to us, it's like, rah, like, that's crazy. Man's gone to Nankat my man, but in his world, that's normal, bro. Right. Do you get what I'm saying? So you have to take a step back and understand what, what do we consider the norm? What is their norm? And sometimes you have to step into their premise for them Facts. to understand 100%. you. Do you get what I'm saying, bro? So like, okay, for example, what's the norm to us is being at a party, bare chicks, boom, boom, boom. Chilling, ah, uh, man, they might be dancing over there. Donny might be talking to a girl over there. My, my man might be smoking a zoo over here. Donny's mm. with the DJ, da, 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 da. But okay, to me, in my space, in my premise, which I'm a, I'm a spiritual person, it's, that's all crack. You're in the bando, bro. Mm. Everybody's taking crack, you feel me? But it's like, it's your walk of life. It's where, where you're at, where you're, where are you at with your life? Where, mm. what do you see right now? Like you're, right now, bro, you've just, reached 100k god bless bro yeah love, done, love, like, love, amazing love. bro that's yeah. sick so now 
you're at another stage of your life. You're growing, you know what I mean? You're probably thinking about marriage. You're probably thinking yeah, about yeah, yeah, choices yeah. and women. Bro, who am I going to settle down with? Like, yeah, 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 do, 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 you know what I mean? For Big real. boy things are happening now of course. in your life, you feel me? And you want to make the right choices. Like, I saw, like, even me messaging you on Instagram. Yeah, let's go, let's go. With, yeah, um, let's go there. With Tricky. And I was just thinking, I was just like, raw, like, first of all, these men need to deep that, bro, they are doing a madness. They're mm. successful black men. That is mm. a rarity, bro. Like, you're alive through COVID. That is a rarity. I was talking to Callum. I was like, bro, you're doing a lot of things, bro. Like, mm. through COVID, a lot of people's jobs stopped. Luckily, my jobs didn't stop either. Like, mm. a lot, you know what I mean? We're blessed. That's mm. the first thing. And a lot of us, we don't take time out to actually thank God. Just that moment of just of quietness, just to thank God. And I was watching the Tricky episode and he was talking about his situation and how COVID was a blessing to man. And I was just like, raw. It was a blessing to me too because in this space I found God and I was able to really reflect and understand my life and where I need to position my next moves you know what I mean in relation to Christ you get what I'm saying mm. so then I'm looking the one thing that stood out for me is when you man were like raw okay imagine like okay you, you've broken up with your girl and then boom what's it you know you're out here you get what I'm saying? You're out here, like, mm. you're, you're with a ting, but, you, you know, you bang this ting and you don't even feel good about it. Mm. And then in you said something specific, you was like, in, in, in your mind, she could be doing the same thing. Mm. And then that's what stuck to me. I was like, bro, Chucks, bro, like, nah, fam. You got to rate yourself, fam. Mm. The type of thing you have to go for, that shouldn't even creep into your mind, bro. Mm. Do you know what I mean? And uh, most of the time, I'm not going to tell you what to do. You're a grown-ass man, but the type of thing you should go for should be God-fearing, bro. That should even that should even that should even be a factor, an opinion. Do you feel no, me? Do, I hear that, but do you know what it is, yeah. Even if I did that, yeah. Even if I did that, I have to be ready for that, though. Mm-hmm. Do you get what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. So it's like, I could meet someone, and bearing in mind, like even when I was using that as an example, yeah, that was like, it wasn't a, an immediate um, thing that had happened in most but, recent time no, but it's just something not. that a lot of us go through you know like yeah, of course. you know sometimes like you know you you come out of a relationship with someone or whatnot and then I'm at a stage in my life al- already where I know mm-hmm. when I come out of a relationship yeah mm-hmm. like me going out and just being out here and just chopping gal and that is mm-hmm. not if I miss someone mm-hmm. it's not gonna do that's, it just makes it worse yeah, yeah, I know course. that yeah, but yeah, yeah. you know what I had to go through that to know that I remember when I my what was it my second relationship my my first proper relationship yeah Yeah. I came out of that um, we was with each other for some years or whatnot and then we came out of that relationship and bro like I was it burned me so much yeah I just thought the only way (laughs) that I'm gonna be able to get over this is to but you know what it wasn't even do you know what it was it wasn't so much the chopping element of it you know yeah it was about (coughs) trying to find my confidence back yeah and so like. That confidence now, I'm looking for externally. Yeah, I'm looking yeah. at, you know, the getting physical. this and that yeah. and this and that and, spe- and and you know, the cosign of a girl yeah. to make me feel better I about feel myself. You. I feel you. And then I realise, no matter how much I chop, it's yeah. not changing nothing. Brother. Do you get what I'm saying? Yeah. But even then, even with knowing that, it's like, you can come out of a relationship, I can come out of something like, recent or whatnot and then you know what trying to move on now Mm. so i'm gonna go and do whatever it Mm. is i'm doing Mm. but in those moments i can meet someone now again and think in that moment yeah like she's cool Mm. like you know Mm. we get on really well and Mm. boom 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 and then we get to the thing now Mm -hmm. and then i'm like ah do you know what this This is not yeah like why am i like what am i doing here like (laughs) do you get what i'm saying maybe i maybe we rush the chop like maybe do you understand what i'm saying like all of those are the little things that go through sometimes can go through your mind but i at the same time i have to be mentally ready ready. yeah you get me because another on another day i could be with that same girl Mm -hmm. and it would be amazing it could be lit i'm just i am I am not there in here. Mm-hmm. And I'm a per- I don't know about you, mm-hmm. um, and you can go from this, but like, I'll be honest, bro, like, mm-hmm. when I feel things, mm-hmm. I feel them deeply, bro. Yeah, you're a gut, you're a person. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So if I'm if response. I'm upset about something, mm-hmm. I feel that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you yeah, get what I'm saying? Yeah. Or if I, if I like someone, then I, you know, I really feel that. Mm-hmm. The only difference is, and the one thing that I probably have tried to work on the most, is just, my behavior, like how I, you know what I mean? If I'm angry, mm-hmm. 
again, I can be raging, mm -hmm. but one thing I have to learn is that like I can't. That doesn't give me the right to now go out and start yeah. doing a madness yeah, yeah, and start yeah. being aggressive or yeah. chatting shit or whatever. Yeah. Or, but then also on the flip side, which can sometimes be a bad thing, is that if I'm if I really like you, yeah. yeah I may not necessarily because I can be quite nonchalant and yeah, laid back yeah, and yeah, whatnot. Yeah, yeah. So that you you take that as like, yeah, oh, like, yeah, well, yeah. does he? Do, he don't even yeah, really. Does yeah. he? Eat, like, and do you get me? You're you, you're you're workaholic, bro. Oh yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. bro, 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 I bro. Know. I'm like that, bro. Can you see with you? Yeah. Yeah. Do you find it hard switching off? Yes, but I'm like you in a sense. I'm a compartmentalizer. Right. So I'm able to. But sometimes, bro, I don't realise it. Does that make sense, bro? Okay. So sometimes I'm in work mode. Like, for right now, I'm in the process. Like, I did a competition in um, Rotterdam. I won. I did... Okay, wait, all right, let me stop you, because then, just for context, yeah? Because I, I don't want to assume that people know who you are and what you do and whatnot, yeah? Mm. So for people who don't know, say your name and what, what it is that you do, and okay. then go into... Okay, I'm Kwame. Um, I'm an a artistic director of spoken movement um, is basically the physicality of hip hop and the mindset of contemporary. So I create um, hip hop theater, you know what I mean? Around the UK, within the UK. I've done a lot of um, theaters like Sadler's Wells. I've done a lot of tour work within Rotterdam and different places. You can say more of it with your chest, Europe. you know, brother. You know, because you don't have to do the humble thing. Yeah. You understand what I'm saying? You can yeah, like, yeah, yeah, but you, you know, know what? saying it, also, you can be, you know, also, like, you know, yeah, like, yeah. tell them sometimes, when people like start saying they achieve, they start they come down and they're like, yeah, so. Blah, blah, blah. Do you know what it is though, no, bro? Bro, I'm out here and I'm. You do get you, me? Do you know what it is though, bro? Like, you know when someone says to you like, "Yo, Chuck, so what? Like, yo, yo, big DJ, da da da." You know you don't go. Yeah, man's the DJ. Da, da, da. Yeah, 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 You're just yeah, chilled. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah no, you know what I mean. You're no, just hear what though. You get if me? You say like what? Like Chuck, do you do what? You do the podcast thing. Yeah. yeah, boom, fucking hundred k. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Yes, oh, but no, 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 ratings. No, ratings. That's an easy bro. line. <laughs> no, I love that. I love that. I love that energy. But yeah, it's like, yeah, yeah. I want to I wanna say to you, bro, like I won what, four competitions. Me. I grossed so much money. I think I was the youngest um, hip hop theater artist in the UK that grossed uh, the uh, a huge amount of money. Do we want to say? Within a year. Do we want to do I we? still live in ends. All oh, right. Okay. Okay. Strong. So we, we pull back. <laughs> we pull back. <laughs> We pull back, yeah, um, yeah, yeah, yeah. but um, no, I've I've been by God's grace, I've I've been lucky to be quite successful, and I have I've had a lot of opportunities. And right now, I'm creating a piece that has won an award called Family Honor, which will be premiering um, next year. So Sick. I'm just in that space whereby I'm in creative space. Do you know what I mean? So I've got like um, three artists, what three people on my phone right now. Everything's work, my bro. Everything's work. I, I, my, my phone, I switch off. I'm just not in the world, especially when I'm in the process. So I understand when people people don't tend to lock into the the world when they're in the creative process. Mm -hmm. Do you get what I'm saying? Like, man, you won't message someone back or you're just in your space, bro. Right. And it's difficult for what what star sign are you, bro? Cancerian. Okay, I'm Capricorn. So it's difficult for people that are quite driven to um detach themselves from what they're doing mm. especially bro when you have a relationship you have to know how to do that yeah of course yeah and usually what i usually tend to advise people is that the medium should be a form of faith i don't tell them what faith it should be but obviously i only speak from my experience which is my experience as god and if you have that as a medium there's a lot that you can understand there's a lot that you can unpack do you understand yeah, what yeah, i'm yeah, saying yeah, yeah. as well as your your is your you know your mum is your mum is your mum Christian is your mom. She's she's I wouldn't say that she's Christian, but she's definitely on a spiritual on her spiritual spiritual journey at the moment. And if you was to like speak to your margin, you was like, Oh, what type of woman would you want me to bring home? What would she say say to you? Do you know what I think she would say? That's an interesting question. I don't know exactly what she would say. Have you but ever one asked of them? one of the things that I know that she would say is, I trust you. Mm-hmm. Okay. Cause the thing is like in my encounters with women, I've never just been so quick to just, like, people don't just meet my mum. Because mm, that's a precious course, thing. Of course, Do you get what I'm course. saying? Yeah, yeah, it's yeah. a precious thing. Yeah. And so, like, any time that she ever has, she's always got on very well with that. And, and you know what, bro? I'll be very honest with you. I'm actually lucky because mm -hmm. 
even though I've been in situations that may not have worked out or whatever, yeah, barring one time, really, I've n- I don't have, I've never had mad, like, relationship issues. Like, when I see people on, like, you know, um, you know, like, when I see these memes, I see them on, like, Shade Burrow or whatever, mm. and, like, people yeah. are talking about, like, yeah. you know, what they expect and yeah. this from yeah, that yeah. guy and this yeah, guy. Yeah, and, yeah. and I'm like... I don't actually experience that. And the women that I have around me, mm-hmm. like whether like my cousins or f- or friends or whatever, they're not like this. Mm-hmm. So like a lot of the time, I don't really see it. Do you yeah, get what I'm I saying? I feel you, I feel so you. So may- and maybe that is down to like some of maybe the women that I choose to like be around or yeah. whatnot. Occasionally, obviously, I might have the quick, but it's never really, <laughs> it's never close enough for it to ever be a thing. Yeah. Do you get what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, Does that yeah. make sense? So. Yeah, like in a nutshell, I think that she would just she would just just trust my judgment. In of that. course, of course, and that's 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 more of a testament to how well she raised her son. You feel yeah, me? Yeah, yeah. And I think, do you know what will make your mum safe though? Like your mum safe with your judgment. Like Girl. if you was just like to your mum, oh no, no, she goes to church. You know, you think I so? Sweat, bro. If you said to yeah, but mom, church yo, gal, listen, let's come on, bro. Man, no, gal, come on, bro. Yeah, listen, what? I see, let me let just say something. Let me just say you lot. <laughs> Alright, can I get there? Listen, I see some of you lot at the church in that, right? In the suit and like listen, all right, can, can we do this? Can and they're out and right. A wretch spoke like, about it. A on a Sunday. Huh? A wretch has spoken about this in bars as well. But yeah, yeah on a Sunday, times. like obviously, like you get it because people look so good, especially in some of the black churches. Some people just look absolutely amazing, yeah. And I'm like, I hear it. Obviously, a lot of people are going there because of the faith thing or whatnot. But don't ever get this twisted, bro. bro yeah, bro. I know. See something? Uh, you get me? No, but it's like, <laughs> on, I, and on bro, I'm not, to be real, <laughs> it's not a lie, bro. What you're saying is not a lie, bro. It's 100. Yeah. percent It's not a lie. But there's also a, a side whereby there's no crack. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Man's not. Man's not. Man's not a crackhead, bro. Like man's not. Man's not corrupt. Man's not in a space whereby. I'm in church Sunday, I'm getting doggy on Monday. Mm. I'm just, I'm not in that space, you know? I'm in a space whereby, raw, like, I'm actually following faith and it's not even about you. It's mm. about my relationship with God. Do you get yeah, what I'm yeah, saying? And that's the type of space you want to be in, in a sense of in a relationship with a girl. You want mm. her to be true to Christ, not to you, bro. Do you get it? And that should make you safe. Does that make sense? But I understand, mm. like, we live in a world where everybody's flawed, bro. No mm. one's perfect. Even me, my guy, bro. Before everything. Yeah, like, can we do some of that, actually? Because I remember you said, like, in, the, like, voice notes, mm. uh, which was sort of, like, intrigued me to even want to talk to you more, is that, like, you were saying that you was, like, in a 10-year relationship or something yeah. like that, yeah? And, like, like, you had an experience with that. Did, yeah. Was she... she um, was finding her spiritual journey first. Exactly. Do you want to go from the beginning and to, like tell the experience that you was <laughs> you said that you wanted to talk about a little bit? Okay, so I met... Well, you don't have to talk about the whole... Trust like, me, yeah, of course not. Just um, what I'm, you feel I'm like... I'm doing you checkpoints. Yeah, I'm going to yeah, go through yeah. checkpoints. Met her in a dance company. Yeah. Um, and I was a savage at that time. So I Out was, here, strong. To bits. Brother. Taking crack, crack. oh okay. yeah, it's like snorting it, Brother drinking it. it, yeah, everything. It's all in your hair. <laughs> what are you talking about all you rubbing it in your in the goatee and that. All in. I hair. hear that. You know when man mixing it with the ear wax and str- all I over hear the it. place. Different mm. ways of taking it. You Come know on, what I mean, bro. Until got into a relationship, like like rehab, bro. Try to sober up. You know what I mean. Try to go. Try to sober up and find find love. Like understand what that is. Um, Ups and downs, of course, relationships have ups and downs. Um, went through that and then it got to a point where I'm, bro, I'm killing it, bro. I'm killing the game, bro. Um, all my pieces are hitting. Any event I put on, it's murking it, bro. Sold out every time. Oh, like event you was putting on Everything, dances? Everything, like, and man's yeah. setting. The way I, the way I would ex- assume you are. Is this theatre events or? Theatre oh, okay. and battles. We, I do battles as well. You know okay. how Jump Off used to do that? Yeah, 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 yeah. Old so love honourable shout out to Arrow. Don't know. Um, I used to do battles. I used to do events. I used to put on anything I would put on. Shows, whatever. Used to sell out. God's grace. Always used to sell out. 
So now I'm like, all right, cool, I'm plotting, I'm planning. That's how we are. Like when you start to make a specific amount of money, you start to plan, you start to go, all right, cool, I need to do this, da, 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 da. Now it's getting to the point like, cool, all right, I need to propose marriage, da, 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 boom, boom, boom. Obviously I had- to Was you under pressure to do that? Or did you just like- Good question. See the pressure, was it, did the pressure come from um, the, the woman that you was with or did the pressure come from your own self in thinking, right, you've been together for X amount of time. And like now, I kind of got to do that. I just think I was. It was always in my plan, my bro. All right. Like, I'm. I'm from an African household as well. Like, quick, quick skim is my mum's Ghanaian. My um, my mum's divorced. My dad's in Ghana. Lives in Ghana. When I was young, I was around fourteen. I got sent to Ghana, so I studied in Ghana for two years. Do you get what I'm saying? Right. Because I was just I was just going the wrong way. You feel me? So yeah. I got sent to Ghana. So I came back to London. With, my, with the morals I had from Ghana. Do you get it? Strong. And then I went to Kingsdale, which was the worst school in South London. Met a guy called Lanx. And then he oh, just... Oh, no, Lanx. Yeah. Hey, you know, you just... always... Let me tell you something, yeah? <laughs> Stay away from people that have the S and the Z at the end of their name. <laughs> hey, you know, we there was a brother in my end <clears throat> called Lips. Stay oh! away from him. <laughs> Stay away from Lips. Yeah, bro. And Lanx then... and Lips. Fuck it now. I brother. could only imagine what that would have been bro, like. Oh, and then it's detail. like, he just showed me. You know, I was a brother. This is no disrespect to of... him, by the way, if he's still on oh, smoke. My guy, love. Come on. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Um, and he was a brother that, bro, I came into the school. You know, like when you went to school back in the days, you wouldn't wear your backpack like this. Mm. Take one strand off. Yeah, yeah. That's yeah. how you're rolling. Bro, I rolled in like that. Okay. That's how I was rolling. That's So you know the type of Donny I was. You yeah, get yeah, it? yeah. I met Lanks. I took off that strap. It's wrong. <laughs> different you now. Now I'm a different you. Do you get it? So I went, <laughs> I went into that relationship with that type of premise. So yeah. I had to now change the systematic thing I was used to. Do you get it? Mm. And and I thank God that I met her because like she, she kind of she kind of aided me through that. Do you get what I'm saying? So there were ups and downs, and she she stuck with me for ten years, bro. Do you get what I'm saying? And then finally, man. Man got a hold of it, do you get me? So now we're at a stage like, I'm like, bro, nah, I'm gonna marry her on my 30th birthday, do you get it? Mm -hmm. So I planned it, bro, I was like, yeah, cool. By the time I finished this tour, boom, 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 peace, boom, that. That's going there, that's compartmentalizing, I'm sure. doing it like that, this is doing this, this is doing that. Bro, man's in Rotterdam. Um, I'm doing a workshop with a company, I'm teaching for um, a month and She's going through this spiritual journey. She cuts off sex, normal sex. Oh, let's talk about that. So now, oh shit. Was it like, a, um, without disrespecting the, the, the woman, because I don't want to do that, not. yeah. True, you had a special thing and whatnot. Queen. But was it like a gradual thing? Or was it like, yo, see tonight now? No, now it was on. like, there was a day prior to even that, it was like, we, cause we, we had a break, we had a break. Right. And then there was a day where, she, and in that break, it was like, yeah, we're not having sex. And me being me, I was like, what? I'll be real, I was like, what? You, I couldn't comprehend it. Did you ask, did you ask if there was gonna be a, cause I might've said, cause in my mind, I'm like, if I was with someone, I loved her. And then she said, you know what, right now, I'm cutting that off. There would be the part of me that would be like, okay, could I handle a relationship with no sex? Brother. I could, providing, is there top allowed in this? Are we allowed to get some top? You're getting technical now. Fam, yeah, bro, because- you know what? I can do, I I'm, I'm not being honest with I you. I can get, I could, I'd be all right with top for a year with no, you understand what I'm saying? I hear you, but bro, I hear it, you, are we, I hear you. So everything was My brother. gone. My brother. Everything's off the menu. Brother, everything. There off no, the menu. There is no menu. Can you cool. lips? Fact, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, of course, cool. but it was- That's it, now we can't lips. It was- Because the, the lips sometimes is a bit- It's dangerous. The lips is a, as good as it's the dangerous. sex sometimes. It's you get dangerous. what I'm saying? But yeah, But it was, it was, it was, I didn't understand it, bro. Cause I wasn't mm. in a spiritual space. I was still working off of the flesh. She was working off, trying to work right. off, the, off of the spirit. So in a sense, bro, I was a hindrance mm. in that sense. And I had to, I didn't realize it at the time because I was just like, so I was doing mad things and I can't really obviously yeah, break yeah. doing mad things. Do you get it? Like, Did she understand the mad things? No, but this is the thing. I'm trying to, let me draw it back. <laughs> um, <laughs> We're to she understood the mad things. Don't get it twisted. Right. She understood the mad things, but 
I'm now affecting her journey, bro. Of course. Do you get it? Yeah, so of course. That's the wrong thing on my part. Do you get what I'm saying? So then, cool, fast forward, I'm in Rotterdam and now I'm going through my spiritual journey because I'm isolated. It's, it's COVID. I'm stuck in Rotterdam, bro. Do you get oh, it? Oh, shit. Do you get it? So I'm in that period where they're closing off the airports yeah. and that. But I'm in Rotterdam, bro. Do you get it? And I'm working. So now I've just got time to myself. I'm in a room, some big flat. I've got a whole flat to myself. And only thing I've got is her on Zoom. I ain't got a phone as well, by the way. At this point, I don't have a phone. So I just have her on Zoom and God. I and mean, that's what we're speaking about. So now I'm going through the spiritual transition. I'm understanding things. I'm like, yo, this is crazy. Okay, so I was on crack. So that's what I was on. The whole time I was banging out crack. So now I understood that, raw. I know where you're at and I shouldn't, I even apologized to her. I was like, yo, I shouldn't have done that. Mm. Boom, 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 boom. Cool. It's a point where she's kind of just dropping off things that, that, because when you, when you walk within Christ, you have to, you have to discard the, the body you had before, which is mm. the, the flesh. And the flesh is basically the life of sin you was living before. Do you get what I'm saying? Anything mm. that was worldly, that doesn't have anything to serve Christ you got to kind of leave it behind. Do you feel what I'm saying? So she was doing that. She was dropping certain things. I was like, rah, that, you know what I mean? In your yes, life, yeah. I would look at, it's like, say if you dropped DJ in, bro, mm. like everybody would be blown back on yeah. Instagram. Do you yeah. get what I'm saying? So certain things of that caliber, she's dropping. I'm like, rah. So now, if, if I'm guessing you're, you're kind of like me, you kind of premeditate what the person's next move is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Usually. So I've already premeditated it. I've gone, ah, oh, yeah, okay this is relationship is coming to an end. Do you know what I mean? So the process is done. I come back to the UK, boom. I get that phone, that phone call. We need to talk. Oh shit. You know, that, oh, you know, how did that, no, let's do this. How did the heart feel? Honest, big man team. Brother, you know when, did it go to the belly the button? The toll bolt, the yeah, toll, yeah, yeah. the big toll. I know that. Was, yeah, 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 I hear that. I've heard that, yeah. At the bottom. I hear it. At the bottom. I hear you it. You feel me? 10 years, bro. 10 at years. The bottom of the gaff. I hear it. It was there, bro. I was looking at my toe. And throbbing. my toe was throbbing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. My yeah, heart's yeah. The heart beating. So my like, toe uh, uh. was doing this. My heart, my chest, nothing can do Yeah, it was doing that. Mad thing. I was thinking, rah. So I just, I, then I had to deep it. I was like, okay, cool. Luckily, the spiritual path I was taking, I was like, I need to take steps back and not react not just try to react. I need to actually analyze and try and understand. And I was like, okay, this has to happen. In order for me to actually understand her, understand, mainly understand God, and to be real, understand what real love is, I have to let this happen. Do you know what I mean? So we had a conversation and it was a mutual agreement. Do you get what I'm saying? Instead of her ending it, it was like a mutual thing. Do you get what I'm saying? So. Now, what's the worst thing is after. She's not only my girl, bro. She's my producer. Oh, blouse and skirt. Brother. So you got, you have to speak, you have to have dialogue. Yeah, because I'm a person, bro. Detached. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But it's not, it's not, it's not, see like there's that saying out of sight, out of mind. A person can be out of sight, but they're not necessarily out of mind because... There's a there's things there still. My mind, there's still a part of me that's there or whatnot. So it takes a while. Mm. But I just, if I'm communicating all of the time and talking all the time and all of that, then then that just makes things even more difficult, bro. Yeah, bro, bro. And everything I was building was for my company, for her. Right. I had a whole plan, bro. And it was just like toilet. So how flush. did you, so? Fam, I just had to. I had to trust and have faith in Christ more than anything. I had to At build. that point, was you in, was you there with that though? Was you there with that? Yeah, I was in, I was in deep prayer, 6 a.m. to 7 p.m. every day, um, 8 p.m. Have you was what, what, how long? 6 a.m. Yeah. To 7 p.m., an hour worth of prayer, from yeah. 8 a.m. to 1 p.m. fasting, every day, bro, Wow. on that Rotterdam journey, until I got to the UK. You feel me? And still trying to consistently do that. You feel what I'm saying? And I'm flawed, bro. I'm not perfect. I'll tell anyone. I'm the realist, bro. I would be like, bro, the man's not perfect. Of course. There, there's habits I'm trying to stop now. Like, you feel me? And I'm be on road and just the back is there. 
you know what I mean? It's just yeah, the strong. glitch, yeah, it's the yeah, matrix. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's the glitch, yeah, the you know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> this, that's why I call it crack, because it's like, you, you get the twitch sometimes, yeah. you know what I mean? So I don't think that God would be, my, I know my opinion sometimes on God some, uh, can really, um, you know, wind people up the wrong way or whatnot, but I don't feel like God would be mad at that. If you had a, if you was walking down the street mm -hmm. and it just, you get what I'm saying? It was a quick back and you just, God would say, I hear you. I hear it, innit? Do you know I what? did make it. <laughs> Do you know what it is? It all boils down to your intention. I think that's what God looks at. He's, just, he's, it's cuz. Yeah, but. <laughs> Do you know what, how he does it? He does it sick. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> hey, yo. The sickest. Bro, he's the top notch. Hey. He said it sick. He went, he went, he'll be like, I hear that. Brother. No, but it's like, of course, like, you know, he's the most, he's the most merciful, like. He understands everything, bro. Like you could do the maddest thing, bro. He'll forgive you, bro. That's what's so mad, bro. That's true love. True love, yeah, is unconditional. Do you get what I'm saying? Our love on this world is conditional, bro. Mm -hmm. If the girl goes and sleeps with my man, it's done out there. You're done, Chucky. You're done, Donny. If you're if you walk into a room now and your girl is getting pammed over, oh, doggy, don't say it like that. Yeah, up no. like this. Oh, don't say do you it know like that. Yeah. Do you know what's mad? You know what's mad? When you open the door. Brother, when you look, open the door, she's yeah. looking back at you like this. Oh, shit. It's, it's crazy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Brother, okay, you're dumping yeah. her there and then. But you see, God, it's unconditional, bro. That's real love, bro. That's when you, for you to really understand what love is, you should know Christ. Really understand what it is, bro. Like, that's yeah, but, the best advice I'd give anyone. If they asked me, bro, how do you navigate through Isn't life? it down to, like, how you interpret things still, though? Because, a bit, like, big and serious, yeah, mm -hmm. there will be people that, like, are very religious mm -hmm. and that, like, follow almost to the T. Mm -hmm. But they are extremely sinful in their behaviour. Mm -hmm. And so, but then they will justify their behaviour mm -hmm. even through the text in which they read. Okay. And so, so to that, I'm like, clearly, either you are choosing to interpret this in a mad way, mm -hmm. or this is something that you genuinely, no. you genuinely believe and I feel, hate you. I hate but you. it still falls under that line. So it's like- Bro, you're right, bro. And that's, those are the people you call, f well, the term for that is like false prophets. Like, yeah. you know, it's you, you know what? See it like this, bro. You know, when you're about to do something bad, yeah, bro. You're just about to do something. It could be anything, you know, you're with, a thing and you're just like oh you're in a situation and you're just like rah I know I shouldn't be I know I shouldn't be here right now I'm about to just doggy this thing it's why am bit. I what <laughs> <laughs> brother do you know what it is do you know what jokes about him yeah his ad lib game is top notch go go I said to bits yeah go but no it's like you know you shouldn't be here right now but let me be real in your mind yeah when you're there, what are the voices in your mind, bro? And oh, what yeah. do they sound like? Do they not sound like Chucky? They sound like you're telling yourself, there's one side that goes, no, no, no. And there's another side that goes, bro? But it still sounds like Chucky. All right, so let me explain, yeah? Mm -hmm. And then, like, obviously, I have to, I feel like I have to say this as well because I am hella flawed. Yeah? Same. I'm very flawed. Um, I have insecurities and I sometimes do not always deal with things in the best possible way. Mm -hmm. However, with that being said, yeah, I feel like I'm very in tune with like the voices that are in my head. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And so there's like, I feel like we all have two voices in mm -hmm. our head in it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. The one, the one voice that will lead you astray mm -hmm. and the other one that will sort of like mm -hmm. reason with you and try mm -hmm. to make you do the right thing or whatnot. Mm -hmm. And so like, with that, one thing that I've always, or that I've tried to do in recent years, mm -hmm. is try to live a life that for me feels 
that I, I can always be, com- I can look at myself in a mirror and say, I'm solid mm-hmm. and I'm moving as straight as I possibly can. Mm-hmm. Do you get what? And, but also understanding that at times, naturally I'm going to make some mistakes, I'm going to slip up or sometimes I'm going to fall into the temptation. Mm-hmm. Do you get what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. But yeah, like sometimes there's a voice in my head that's like, sometimes there's a voice in my head that's like, Chucks, you know, like, just, you know what, just stay in your yard. Mm-hmm. Just, yeah, you know, yeah, just stay yeah. in your yard, bro. Yeah, yeah. And sometimes I'll just listen to that. Mm-hmm. Then there's other times where there's a voice in my head that says, nah, you know what, yeah? yeah. Chucks, go outside. <laughs> <laughs> yeah? <laughs> and then I'm like, you know what? I know that I shouldn't even really do that today, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. but fuck it. Mm-hmm. The big difference is, though, mm-hmm. is that, like, I'm still aware that this is something that maybe I shouldn't do. Mm-hmm. And I think that, that there's power in that mm-hmm. because if I'm going out, and I'm doing something mad, but not knowing that I'm doing something mad, mm-hmm. it's hard to change it mm-hmm. because you don't yeah. know that you're doing something mad. Mm-hmm. But if I know that I'm doing something mad, at least I'm able to say, you know what, yeah, like, mm-hmm. okay, this might just be a one-off or I can work on it. Mm-hmm. Or, you know what, I need to apologise because mm-hmm. really I, I, like, I can see where I've gone wrong. So my, my inner workings ultimately comes down to like dealing with the voices in my head and mm-hmm. how I try to manoeuvre in and around that because with all of that being said I do believe that I know in the context of the life that we're living in right now I feel like I know what is right and what is wrong Mm -hmm. if we're really going to pod today Mm -hmm. which we don't particularly have the time for Mm -hmm. and I would actually like to see you know you have to come back of course you definitely have to come back but um, the what is right and what is wrong mm-hmm. is an interesting conversation anyway. Yeah, of course. And I'll tell you why. Because what is right and what is wrong depends on the climate in which we live. Yeah, the premise. What we're used to. This is right. what I'm saying. But so I, this... some of the stuff, like for like a thousand years ago, mm-hmm. there would have been certain things that were seen as right, mm-hmm. but now is wrong. Mm-hmm. And in a thousand years going forward, mm-hmm. if we get there and we don't mash up the whole thing, mm-hmm. um, we, we might look back now mm-hmm. at some of the things that we were just doing in normal society mm-hmm. and say, right, like, right, they were, could you believe that that was what, and these are the type of, and these were the type of relationships they were having, and these are the type of things that they was doing. So it's like, that one sometimes can make, it opens up a big can of worms depending on how deep you are willing to go with that. But for me, I'm just like, I just, I know what I know, and I try to just learn from other people mm-hmm. and sp- take that as a sponge and then just try and move accordingly. Do you get me? How I, I rate that. I understand, bro, I rate that. How I see everything is so mad, yeah? It's like, bro, see like this, yeah? Chucks, you made the most sickest set ever, bro. That like, You're like, your qualms. You need to listen to this set. I hear this set and I'm like, bro, this set is the maddest thing I've ever heard in my life, bro. How you've structured all the mixes and put this track with this track no one's ever done this before bro this is groundbreaking this is original bruv what are you gonna do and you say to me bro i'm gonna share it i'm gonna share it bro this is what it's here for i'm gonna share this and you're like all right cool so you decide to share this piece of art with everyone now everyone gets this piece of art this is your baby bro this is your baby everybody gets this piece of art and as it goes through different people's hands yeah it gets back to you. It's not the same thing. Right. Now, it's not the same thing, bro. This is your work. You're like, at first, even to me, you was like, bro, I don't know if I should. But just being you, bro, the loving person you are, you're just like, nah, bro, I have to share this. Comes back to you, it's not your thing. And remember, you're so attached to this thing. You want it to stay like this, yeah? But it's come back to you. It's not the same. Everyone's changed. Everyone's added their little thing. It doesn't even sound right. It sounds mad. It doesn't sound... As, as biblical as it sounded when we first yeah, yeah, when yeah, you yeah. first played it in the studio, yeah, it sounds mad. See God as that artist, do you know what I mean? And see the world like that, bro. He's made the best piece of art in the world, and everybody in this world right now is just trying to play God. It's changing things, man, woman, everything. Everything is being changed, bro. And that's how we don't. That's what we don't see. And it's con. It's, and if it came back to you and you had the choice, bro, and it, you had it in your hands like this, this piece of work. What would you do? I'd be like, yo, Chucks, listen to this. And you hear it. You're, what are you going to do? What's your reaction really and truly going to be? It's not the same thing. Mm. You're probably going to delete it, innit? Or dash mm. it. That's, that's what if we I d- If I know 
that it's not in its truest form, then I, I may not take it as serious. Exactly. But th don't you think that's what some people do with religion, though? And the reason why I say that is because, maybe, what is your take on this? Mm -hmm. Some people will say that one of the reasons why they may not necessarily follow that route mm -hmm. is because they may feel as though, mm -hmm. like, how could it be, how could it be mm -hmm. in its original form in today's society? Because so many things have been diluted. Right. And I respect that because I've definitely questioned that. So that, that goes with faith though. Yeah. That just goes with your own, I guess that goes with your own belief. Like exactly. you, I, I feel like, you know, there'll probably be people that will look, they'll read the Bible or the Quran or whatever. And they will say, you know what? Yeah, I'm taking this and this and this because I, in my belief system resonates uh -huh. with this. Mm -hmm. But there's a couple of things in there that maybe doesn't resonate with me. If you are able to do that as well, honestly, bro, I respect that mm -hmm. because for me, it's like you are almost using a part of your own self and saying, you know what? There's something about this that just doesn't sit right with me, mm -hmm. but this, 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 and this does. Mm -hmm. Do you get what I'm saying? So I'm going to follow that. Mm -hmm. But it's like, at the same time, it's like, like you're speaking about, bro, you said faith. Like people today think that seeing is believing, but really and truly not seeing is believing. Do you know what I mean? That's true faith. Being blind and being uh, and allowing mm -hmm. your faith to guide you. It's like, have you seen the film Eli by Denzel Washington? No. At the end, he it reveals, he's, he goes through this whole journey. This this character goes through this whole journey and he's literally trying to get the, the last Bible to um, a library because it's the last Bible, it's the apocalypse. All the books have been destroyed and he's trying to get this last Bible to its destination, bro. And everyone's trying to get this Bible because obviously it's the guide to life. It's gonna tell you what's gonna happen, you feel me? What's already been written. So everyone's trying to body him. Everyone's trying to body him. If you can't watch it, everyone's trying to body him. Everyone's trying to body him. He kills everyone, you know what I mean? Gets the Bible to the, its destination and at the end he dies. But at the end, it reveals that he's blind. The whole time, bro, he was blind. The whole way through the movie, you don't know this Donnie is blind. And then you realize, rah, okay. So man was just using faith to guide him. You know what I mean? There's a point where the, one of the characters was like, how do you know where you're going? He goes, ah, oh, it's just faith. You just have to have faith, bro. That's what it is. Your, your, your presence within Christ just has to be strong. And you know, it's, easy, it's easier said than done. And that's what you're trying to tell me, Chucks. You're just yeah. saying, bro, it's easy to say it. Like, but imagine you, you kind of know my, my past. You don't know me, know me, but you know my past. Yeah. I've been five months, no sex, bro. Six months, come back to Oh, months, really? No yeah. sex, yeah, yeah. No bashing, no nothing. No nothing? Nothing. Oh, so you really just hailing, bringing in that that sexual energy and, yeah, yeah, and yeah. turning really, it into... And you was talking about that in your podcast. Yeah, yeah. Like, I started reading the book about it. How can we just release huh? our energy? Yeah, yeah, because I was saying, like, bro, we just, like, that's just a bit mad. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's true. We're just out here just busting nuts. You're throwing away like, purpose. Yeah, yeah, and putting it in tissue and that. Yeah. Do you understand what I'm saying? Like, it is a bit mad when you deep that. And, I, and so... I wanted to like, I wanted to unpack that more or whatever, yeah. But no, I hear that. I like, on a serious one, I hear yeah, that. Like, because it's purpose, bro. You're uh, dashing away purpose, deep it. You, in this world, you have a purpose. So imagine, when you're busting your nut, this sperm that you're releasing, remember we, you were saying that, we won the race, we're here. Yeah, Do yeah. Do you get it? Yeah. So, you have purpose. Callum has purpose. My boy Ref has purpose. Uh, my boy Abs, big up my boy Abs, General Abs as well. He has purpose. Everyone has purpose, bro. So, if we all have purpose, we're just busting nuts purpose just dashing with just dashing away life and purpose bro like so real 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 ish when you you're are you I'm, I'm assuming that you're saving it for when you get back into and have that um that companionship yeah, yeah 100%. i hear that and i guess that when you have that they will be explosive and sensational and like you you there's like a uh, a strong connection that yeah, you'll have yeah. even off the back of that so no i fully respect that but um can yeah, it's it? a really interesting one, man. I think... Can you do it? Do you think you could do it? What's that? Do you think you could do it? <laughs> <laughs> what, not but than that? Callum, you think you could do it? Uh, I did it for a long time while I was at church, but yeah. I died. How long did you go for? From 14 to 21. Quite from, four, from 14 to 21 that's yeah. like that really no no, no I, I didn't go that long without busting up that's how long I was at church oh, oh yeah. sorry sorry sorry, <laughs> sorry. I should have been more clear <laughs> yeah, yeah. No, 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 no no god no I was never that good I, f I found it really hard to go past like a few months mm. very very difficult thing do you think you could do it bro 
Yeah. You see your you see that yeah, the octave, it was high. Yeah. Was it too short? You're not believing it. No, you're, I be, you're I, not, not that it. I don't believe you, bro. It doesn't sound like I don't think you're short. No. I'll tell you why. I t- okay. I think you let can. Me, let me elaborate. I, b- I believe that I can. I think you can. I believe that I can. But I would have to... I would have to truly believe something for me to do that. Like, I couldn't just say, you know what, tomorrow, no mm, nuts yeah, yeah. for three, however many, whatever. Mm. I, I, don't, I just couldn't do that. Mm. But... If I had a belief system that was in mm-hmm. a certain place, mm-hmm. then I de- I believe that I definitely could yeah. do that. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I this is really interesting for me, bro. Because do you know what's mad though, Chucks? You're in such a sick place. Like you've got so many blessings. Callum as well. You lot all got so many blessings. Savage as well. Savage Dan. Funny enough, mm-hmm. I was watching the pod and he was saying, ah. Oh, I'm trying to get closer to the Lord. You know how he talks? Yeah. I'm trying to get closer to the Lord because he was like, you're saying, he was, I think you were speaking about um, lockdown is killing him. This is when you were talking about the Krispy Kreme donuts. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The Biscoff. The, the Biscoff mm. and all of that. <laughs> and he was just like, I need to stop. He just, it's funny how our radar knows. Like you have a radar. Oh, that yeah. Goes, bleep, bleep, bleep. Like, Ram, I need to stop doing this. And do you know what? We think most of the time it's us, but... Sometimes you got to look at it as, no, nah, it's just something spiritual. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, I mean? and I hear that. And this is the thing, yeah? That, because I'm trying to articulate, there's a thought that's in my mind that I'm trying to articulate and you're sort of saying it, yeah? Mm-hmm. But for me, it's like, the stage that I'm at, yeah? I, it's like, I, I wouldn't say that I'm like a proper spiritual guy like that. No, I respect Or like you. someone who is a proper, you know, that like, I don't know. It's like so when good things happen, there are times when I say, "You know what, God, you bust me." You know, I yeah, God, yeah, 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 yeah. I don't know. I still have some, you know, questions in that. Please don't be mad at me. Yeah. I do have questions. And he's not you still. can't be mad at me. And he's not. I got still. a lot of questions in it. Yeah, but you bust me. Yeah, yeah. So I don't always think in my mind when something bad happens. I'm like, oh God, why did this? Like sometimes when something bad happens, I, I am kind of like, yo, why is that? Mm-hmm. But at, on the flip side of that, when something good happens, I turn around and I say, you know what? Yeah, you passed me still. Yeah, yeah. But I can't say that I move with it like that. Mm. I'm just like in my mind saying, you know what? I'm going in a direction. For me, I just want to put myself in a place mentally, yeah, where I'm just comfortable with dying. Mm-hmm. And that's it. And it's mm-hmm. like, you know what, yeah? Mm. I live a certain type of life. I'm comfortable with dying. Mm-hmm. Once that time comes, whatever happens after that is a conversation that I need to have when, whenever I get there. Mm. But for me, that is more my, my main focus. My main focus is, you know what, yeah? You know, um, I said this with, I've said this with Tricky, yeah? I said this with Tri- Tricky, yeah? Like, the grass, mm-hmm. right? So, boom. How I lay my seeds, mm-hmm. yeah? And how I look after my garden mm-hmm. once I'm gone is going to say a lot about me. Mm-hmm, Do you mm-hmm, get what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Yeah, so yeah. if I if I look after my garden a certain way, yeah, mm-hmm. and then I bounce, mm-hmm. and you come mm-hmm. after a period of time, and you start seeing all of these, like you can see that I proper looked after it mm-hmm. and whatnot. Someone else can maybe come and take mm-hmm. over and do mm-hmm. whatever it is with it or whatnot. Mm-hmm. If I leave it and there's nothing growing, then I know that I like for me, I just didn't do my job properly, mm-hmm. and that's kind of like how I see element of life. I'm like, you know what? I've got this big piece of grass here. I'm just trying to, you know, do as best as I possibly can with all of this here. So once I'm gone, that is where, how it is. And then once I'm, once I hit the other side, mm-hmm. then I will, I will, I will deal with that when time comes. But I just mm-hmm. think for me, I'm definitely more on leaning to the conversation of as much as I want to have more conversations about spirituality and mm-hmm. religion and that, and which I will do, and we're going to come back and we will have more conversations. Yeah. Another conversation I want to have a lot more of is death. Mm-hmm. No, I want to talk, talk a lot more about dying because we are so scared of it, mm-hmm. but we shouldn't be, in my opinion. I don't but think that we know, should be scared. You know what's funny? In this situation, sorry, bro. No, okay, okay. In the situation that um, I'm in right now, spiritually, <laughs> oh, yeah, I thought shit right we now. had to go no 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 oh, we got shit. another out. I oh, just yeah, dirty shit. not yeah, five yeah right, boom fucking hell now we're here we can pod yeah, yeah let's go hey, yeah, come on, come on, got no time. I thought Cal was going to fuck up the whole team no 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 I'm here bro <laughs> come. I'm okay 
Yeah, because Callum said he had to leave in that, yeah. And I'm like, yo, like, what's going on? Then <laughs> he sent me this, and I'm like, oh, what, we got it? Can you see it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. It's a bomb. We're That's sick. Right. Sick, we're fine, we're fine. And there's, bro, I've got a question for you as well, which Let's is, go. I think you're a very intelligent man. Very sick. And I'm going to tell you why you're very sick. And this this is to do with just what I do as a job. Like, I'm I'm such a, bro, I'm such an analyst. So is my boy over there. To a T. And I feel like you're like this as well. I'm an analyst to a T, bro. But I'm going to ask you a question about something else. But regardless, yeah, death. So looking at death, yeah, I'm so, I want to get to a point just like you where I'm so comfortable with dying. And I and that is kind of the same premise as what, what I've put on earth as a fossil fuel, mm. in a sense, what I've left on earth. And yeah, my, my, my success in life and so on and so forth. But I know my relationship with Christ will take me to a place whereby I'll never be afraid of dying, bro. Like there is no fear. Are you afraid of dying now though? No. Ah, uh, so that, see that octave there? That one was mad low. Yeah. There was something about that one that it seemed a bit unsure. You know what I'm saying? I'm gonna lie, he, he's an analyst. Yeah. yeah. He's, he's sick. It's, that one seemed Bro, a bit- I already clocked he's sick. I'm yeah, that me. one seemed a bit- the reason why is because it is okay. I'm not, I, what, I'm, what I'm, I'm not afraid of telling you is that I'm not perfect, bro. That's yeah. why there's a lot of things that I relate to you with, bro. Like when you're like, I'm not ready yet and da 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 Because I was in that space, bro. That prior when I was in my relationship and she was like, yo, no, no sex. I was like, bro, I was in the same, bruv, what's going on? Like man's not ready. You're telling me I can't <laughs> release all of this. And being a creative as well, we have, we hold a lot of, yeah a lot of tension within us. Do you know yeah. what I mean? So we need that release point. Do you get what I'm saying? But again, when you have this kind, when you're spiritually inclined, you have this secret place called prayer and that is your meditation. That's your conversation with God and that becomes your release point. But um, it's something, bro, it's, it's your it's your timing. There's no rush. I'm not yeah. telling you, bro, do it now. Duh, 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 duh. Yeah, yeah. But they always say, it says in the Bible that um, God is going to come like a thief in the night. When mm. Judgment Day comes, it's gonna it's, it's gonna be a random day, bro. I remember when I was a kid one time, yeah, bro. I'm, I swear to God, no word of a lie. God knows. I woke up one time, bro, and this is I'm still in my I'm still in my life. Mm. You get me? I woke up one time, and the sky was yellow, bro. I don't know if anyone remembers this day. <laughs> the sky was no like, bro, yellow, bro. Like serious, like yellow, like not sun yellow, yellow, yellow. Yeah. yellow. So I was thinking, what's going on? The first thing I did was go to my sister's um, room. I woke them all up. I was like, yo, I think judgment day is coming, you know, G. <laughs> yeah. And then they were like, wait, what? So we all looked at ourselves like, we're still here. First thing we thought about, like, you first thing you think about is your mum. Your mum's a saint. Right, of course, yeah. Do you yeah. know what I mean? So I ran to my mum's room. I said, if my mum's still in her room, lying in her bed, then I know judgment day is not here, fam. Do you get it? Mm. Ran in there, my mum was still there. I took a breath, I was like, oh. You know what I mean? Yeah, but relief. just that feeling alone was almost worse than, no, but probably was worse than when I broke up, when I knew I was breaking up with my girl, bro. Right. I was like, bro, if everyone, it says in the Bible, bro, the person, me and Callum are here right now. Callum just goes, phew. Raph just goes, phew. Well, can I ask you something now? Are you scared of judgment today? No. Oh, God. What are we, how are we assessing that one? <laughs> that was no. not a, that was Do you know why I'm as... not bro? Do you know why I'm not afraid of it right now? Because I'm in such a good space, bro. Right. So I'm I'm not af I'm not afraid of judgment. Do you know why? Because you have a good heart, bro. You have a good heart. God God will judge your heart. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, so Everybody sins, everyone's flawed, but you have a good heart, my bro. You're yeah, not so a bad I, person. like for me, because I'm not I'm not I'm just not scared of judgment, innit? The only I tell you the only thing that I am like scared of mm. a bit. Mm. Scared isn't the right word. Tell me a word when I say it, yeah? When I say what I'm scared of, of then just change the word. Mm. But like, I'm not, like my mum's gonna die. Mm -hmm. Do you get what I'm saying? Mm. And so like, and my dad. But like that, I had a death that was very close to me, just recent, mm -hmm. yeah? My stepdad, it was super close. In my life since sure I was like nine, one. 10, had a great relationship with him. I've done a whole pod on it and whatnot, yeah? Yeah, I saw and, that. And, you know, one thing that I talked about and I've been talking about it a lot was that like, the last, his last breath mm -hmm. was, the, was 
being there to mm-hmm. witness it was the most one of the most special things in my whole life. Mm-hmm. Do you get what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. When we realize, oh yeah, boom, he's taking his last breaths and that. Um, come down we're just hugging him we're just talking to him or whatnot and then like literally he just took his last breath and it was special and afterwards obviously it was sad and then me and my mum was just like reasoning and talking and laughing and you get what I'm saying like, I was mm. reminiscing and stuff like that yeah mm. and so obviously that's it's been difficult because I'm still now trying to adjust to having someone who had such a big personality mm. not being in my life and mm. so to this day, I still find it like a bit, a bit difficult. Yeah yeah, 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 yeah. But like, at one day, it's gonna be my mum. Yeah. And or and it's gonna be my dad. And so I have to, I'm gonna have to deal with that. Mm. Now, I'm not scared of, I'm not, I'm not scared about, you know, what may happen to them afterwards. I think it's just about like, getting used to what is my norm, not mm. being my norm anymore. Mm-hmm. But pushing all of that aside, I'm like, you know what? If I was to die before them, mm-hmm. or you know, I was to die today or whatever, touch wood or whatnot, yeah, forbid, yeah, that like, I'm not scared of it. Mm-hmm. I'm just not scared of dealing with that. Maybe, maybe I'm a little bit apprehensive about how it's gonna happen. Mm-hmm. You get what I'm saying? I don't want to be, you know, I don't want to have like a long, slow death. But then I guess if we're gonna be technical, we're all having a long, slow death because yeah, we're all yeah. dying. We're, we're ticking time bombs. Yeah, I say exactly. That all the time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But, um, but. Yeah, I think maybe that might be one of the reasons why I am not, like, I'm, there's something spiritual about my thinking, mm-hmm. but it's not necessarily, like, just fully there. But it's just an awareness. But you're going to get there, bro. <laughs> I get that energy from you, bro. I've, I've Even from when I've been watching um, Half Cards podcast, like, I've been watching it for years now, you know, yeah. to be honest. Love. And no, of course, bro. That like, big ups, bro. Um and I've always been like, no, nah, Chucky is different. Let me tell you why you're different. Now I can bring in what I was talking about. Alright, so you did Elephant in the Room. Right. And ZZ Mills. Yeah. Okay. Now, there was a moment where it got a bit heated. Mm. Now, this is when I knew, yeah, Chucky's different. So this is my analytical perspective. I was watching everyone and I analyzed, I was watching everyone's movements. I was watching um, Lippy, I was watching Poet. I was like, okay, cool. So Poet is irate, he's kind of going off on one. Okay, so his thing, he's getting his point across, but it's because Zizi's defending herself and she's in defensive mode and he, Poet, because of what she's saying, which is kind of not attacking him, but she's given her perspective on who he is. And she he's given her his perspective on who she is. And Lippy's just kind of doing Lippy and giving his overall perspective of the Trying story. to. Yeah, trying to. Yeah. And let's be real, with you you she's put both of you, all three of you, in a corner. But let me tell you why you're sick. So you I feel like there was a moment where things shifted and you clocked the shift. And then you was just like, all right, cool. So I'm going to position myself here. Right. <laughs> and I think like no one would really, not some people will, deep how you did that, which was sick. And there was a transition point. It's when she said, because I've, because, sorry, no one's, still, so, no, no one can say this, duh, 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 because I've created my own lane. She says that. And I saw your face just go. Like, you shifted. Your face just shifted. And I was like, no, Chucky's rating her. But he's also deep in that I don't need to be in the midst of this fire because my position that I'm playing right now is sort of like the mediator. Mm. I'm just hearing. You're a person that just hears. You absorb what's in the room. Mm. And then I was like, rah, he's a sponge. He's just a sponge. Yeah. He doesn't necessarily react. He he takes in information yeah. and he just tries to understand it. Yeah, nah, that's, than, that's definitely my that's definitely my thing. Do you get what I'm saying? And I, I, them lot were reacting. Yeah. Where really and truly they can do what the hell they yeah, want. Yeah, they're yeah. grown ass men, you feel me? Of but course. I'm not gonna lie, she had the man them on the ropes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She had the man them she on the ropes. Absolutely honestly, she absolutely smashed it. What? ZZ left there that I day. Was like, I always respected ZZ still. But she left there that day with even more respect for me that, than she even knows to this bro, day. Bro, my brother, I deeped it. Bro. Because you know what? Like, 
One of the reasons why she was there in the first place is because we knew that she would be able to handle it. Mm-hmm. Do you get what I'm saying? Like she's she's good like that. Mm-hmm. I know I know that she would I know that she would have seen an opportunity in it as well. Mm-hmm. Do you get what I'm saying? But like instantly in that moment, yeah, when we was doing it, if I'm being honest with you, yeah, I love the idea of the show, but then like I I had um I was a bit apprehensive mm-hmm. in my heart because mm-hmm. I am not an antagonist. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, like, I am mm-hmm. a person who I have no problem sitting down and talking about stuff. Mm-hmm. Yeah, even at times when I've tried to sit down on the pod and talk about certain things, and like we haven't been able to do it. Or I've not had a problem doing it. Mm-hmm. You know, I'll sit down and we'll have a little conversation about Noel Clark and the situation. Yeah, 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 yeah. I don't have a problem oh, with doing yeah, that because mad. I'm not do I'm not doing it from a place of trying to antagonize someone yeah. to get a reaction out of them or whatnot. Mm. This is the culture and that that I love and people that I enjoy watching Mm -hmm. and I'm a part of something and I like to discuss it Mm -hmm. within means and whatnot, yeah? So like when I, when I was thinking about, you know what, we will be sitting, we'll be talking about her and then eventually we'll get a reaction out of her for her to come down. There was a part of me that was like, right, well, I'm not really an antagonist. So I'll ask questions and we'll talk about certain things or whatever. And I know it's not gonna take much for her to come. She's coming down, yeah? yeah, yeah? yeah. So then like, (laughs) In this moment, yeah, I'm looking at it like there's three of us here and mm-hmm. then there's her, yeah? Mm-hmm. And obviously, Poet is very passionate. Yeah. Lippy is very direct. Yeah, 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 yeah. And so, in my mind, and in my, forget like f- content purposes, for content purposes and for t- to appease other people or whatever, I could have just jumped, like just been super irate or whatnot, mm-hmm, yeah? Mm-hmm. But I got to do what is... I, True to I could only do what is true to myself and that's first. being you yeah, yeah, yeah and that yeah. is being myself so yeah. when I'm watching it I'm like you know what yeah these lot they're saying what they need to say to mm-hmm. her and she's obviously in defence mode so she's attacking back on what not yeah mm-hmm. it doesn't sit right within me remember the two voices we was talking yeah, about yeah 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 hundred yeah. there's a voice in my head that's like yeah you know what just jump in and yeah, fuck yeah, in yeah, yeah. you get what I'm saying and let dive it, in let it go yeah, but there's yeah, the other voice that's like you know what let, like just chill Mm-hmm. because three of us don't need to be doing that. Yeah, yeah. Do you get what I'm saying? Three of us yeah. don't need to be doing that. Yeah. Even though she could handle that. Trust me. Three of us don't need to be doing it. Yeah. So instantly I was kind of on a thing of, all right, let me just try. But it didn't necessarily work. It was great for people to watch. Mm-hmm. And I think ultimately it made her look good as yeah, well because definitely. of the way that she came off. But in my own, within my own self, bro, I'm just not, I'm not an antagonist like that. I'm not a... Uh, yeah, you know, we, me sick. and Zizi could sit down on the sofa here yeah. and have a reasoning. Yeah, 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 hundred. Do you get what I'm saying? And we 100. could talk for hours, and we will do that one day. Me and Zizi yeah. will sit down, and I'll have because Zizi's been on the pod but years ago. But um, we'll sit down and we'll have a conversation. So what? like, that's what? more my format. It's very <laughs> difficult for me to like. I've just realized, bro. I'm not necessarily like the fucking. The man who tries, and this is not to say that these men do, by the no, way. No, I'm no, just saying in no. general. I'm not Full the brothers. yo, like I'm going to try and get a clip by saying something or doing something mad. Bro. No, if no. I do something or say something mad, it's just that organically no. just came out of no. my mouth. I feel like that's their actual opinion. So this is that. why I say no to a lot of things now as well. Like yeah. Julie mentioned this on her uh, thing with ZZ, yeah, and mm. it, that actually resonated with me yeah, a lot. I do actually don't like... I say yeah to some things, but I say, I, in my mind, I say no to a lot of things, man, because I just... I'm now really learning training. that. So What's you've been like on your, your, you've kind of been on your spiritual journey for like a, just over a year now, isn't it? Oh. Yeah. How are you? Well, and what, like, and prior to that, did you, did that come through, Was you, did your ex in, inspire that? hundred. She inspired that. She reignited that. You Do know, you want her back, bro? funny, yeah? Do you want her back? <laughs> Do you know what's funny, yeah? Let me tell you something. It's not that I... I don't want to be in any situation where I am so flawed as a human being. So the answer to your question would be no if I'm not ready. Right, because I was going to say, could you... if If it could be, would you be ready for it? Yes. Yes, I would be. But I still think, not now. Why? Not now. I still think there's so much for me to learn within my face. I'm not perfect, bro. Yeah, but you're never going to be. Of course, but there's still, okay, you have a piece, you have a, a 
a set you're creating, bro. Cool, innit? Like, you're like, oh, I want it to go like this, qualms. Regardless of what you create, bro, you're kind of getting the gist of the type of person you are. Mm. You're still going to have one thing to say, Chucky. Yeah, like, yeah. Oh, it's never going to be perfect, but you're going to try and get as close as possible, no? Yeah, yeah of course. That's how I see it, bro. Yeah, but how do you know, what, is, what does perfect, perfection look like? We don't know what it looks like. I just think perf- the closest thing to perfection, the thing that is perfection to me is God, of course. Right. He's perfect. But you can't be God, but what you can be is the best version, possible of version of yourself. Yeah. But then that's, that is a thing that like, I don't think that anyone says I am the best version of myself at any point. Or maybe they do. Yeah. Because the reason why I don't think that they do or the reason why I don't think that you can is because we haven't faced every obstacle that life could mm-hmm. throw at us. And so how we react to that is what would show us if we was at our best possible self. Mm-hmm. So with that, it's like, you know what? Sometimes you might have, something might get thrown at you and you deal with it perfectly mm-hmm. or really good. Mm-hmm. Then someone throw another thing and you deal with it really good. Mm-hmm. Then another thing you deal with it really good. And then another thing you deal with it not good. Mm-hmm. That's okay though. Yeah. And that's, that's fine. And that's what it is though, Chucks. It's like, I don't think our aim in, in this world is to try and be perfect, bro. I just think it's just to be a good person. Yeah, yeah. That's it. Just to have good intent. And I think that's why I, I definitely relate to you when you say, bro, like, I'm all, I feel like I'm okay to pass when I pass because yeah, yeah, yeah. in your I feel like in your space you know that bro I never move with bad intent yeah I always try to be the best person best version of myself which is just a good person yeah, yeah. I am flawed I'm going to make mistakes and as I'm talking to you I'm talking to myself as well yeah yeah fact. I'm going to make mistakes I'm going to do these things but as long as I try to serve and I try to say to give you the best advice and I try to make sure everyone is good around me as well as myself, I don't see where, I don't see why I would never be ready to undertake that relationship again if it came out. How, how, oh, how I might long, be in a separate thing, bro. How long, yeah, see, it's a deep one still. I'm it's getting into your personal life still. No, no, I But cool, like, bro. how long do you think that it, how long do you have to be apart in order for you to say, you know what, now nah, I think this is for me. I think, she, not, not, not being separate, but having her back. Because obviously, if she's going on her own spiritual journey, mm-hmm. and then now you're 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 going on yours, yeah, and you've like had certain realizations or whatever. Naturally, you need time apart because mm-hmm. she needs to be yeah, able to, she needs to be able to be in that, mm-hmm. yeah, and also find herself as well. Mm-hmm. And you obviously need to do that. But how much time do you need? Do you feel you need to be apart before you actually say, you know what? Nah, I still feel the same way, mm-hmm. and I want to mm-hmm. re. Mm-hmm. kind of thing do you get what I'm saying I respect you well I say bro. that a lot in it kind of thing and that. yeah <laughs> <laughs> no but that's your thing bro. That's, that, that's what makes you trucks um, <laughs> Kelly just looked at me and nodded <laughs> I don't think I don't think I'll ever feel the same type of way because I'm not the same person number one two I don't think that's my decision to make I think if yeah, things yeah. are meant to happen it will happen like naturally everything happens for a reason if God ordains it it's going to happen if I'm with a new ting, Chucks, if you see me down the line and I'm yeah, with yeah, a new ting. I know it's a spiritual one. Obviously, you hear like, what's that? The, you know what I'm saying? You know what like I mean? The church and that and flipping. It's different. Caught a vibe. Yeah, yeah, You get me? So I'm not, again, it's, it, it's like blind faith. I'm, she, I still talk to her. She's my dog, bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's my doggy. We, yeah. we talk all the time. We chat all the time. Before we were even in a relationship, we were together for two years, bro, as friends. She was my wingman. Yeah, yeah, yeah. When I was out here savaging. I hear you still. <laughs> do you get what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. It's a different bond. Do you, yeah. get, um, do you know what I mean? It's yeah. a different bond I have with my girl. Do you get what I'm saying? So she see me through the grits. You know what the... I'll say, yeah? Because uh, I'm so going to she... end this part of the conversation in a bit now, but mm-hmm. I hope that it works out however it's supposed to work out. That's, that's for cool. sure. Um, one thing that like, if I'm being serious, pushing all jokes aside and all that type of shit, yeah? One thing that does come into my mind a lot is, you know, when you're quite young and you meet someone or whatnot and you're with someone for a long period of time, there is one thing that does worry me a bit. Not that it would ever stop me from ever being in a relationship. Mm -hmm. One thing that does worry me sometimes is like growing apart. 
Mm. Because, te- like, who you was 10 years ago to who you are now is naturally different. And it would be the same for her, yeah? And so when you're going on that, if you don't grow in the same direction, then it makes things very sticky because, yeah. you know, you have these different things that or different goals and, you know, and that, that, is, that is like... I feel a thing that happens a lot in today's climate where, you know what, we've been together for 25 years or whatnot and one, if one person says, it's different when both say, you know what, we're just in different spaces mm-hmm. and like, I feel like we could just be good friends now. Mm-hmm. Like, mm-hmm. that's sick. Yeah. But usually it don't work like that. Usually one person says, we're growing apart. This is, mm-hmm. you know what I mean? Yeah, and yeah, we yeah. spend all that time together and it becomes... It's mad, but you just can't go into relationships thinking about that. You just got to go into them. Uh, like, you just got to go into them and just try to just work with that because that's mm. going to be a reality. I think that's something that I would probably... Going into a relationship now, yeah? Mm-hmm. I think that's something that I would probably try to talk about uh, every once in a while. The realities of things changing and in some way try to prepare ourselves. Not over-prepare ourselves, but prepare ourselves for like a time where you know what we like in 10 years time um hopefully god willing or whatnot that we could make it and get there but there's going to be some differences and we need to try to make a pact in how we resolve those differences or how we kind of grow together Mm -hmm. in this in the same in the same direction even when we are kind of into different things do you get me and that's just finding that medium in between both of you i was gonna say what's your status now you single what are you you doing yeah man i'm um, oh, yeah. I'm single still, yeah. But I'm not out here though. I'm not out here, you're man. Like, yeah, like I would like. Yeah, I'm not out here. Like honestly, bro. Like on another day, like because you know what I'm saying. Like I've had the moments where I've just enjoyed life like that. But now I'm like I'm just not really out here like that, man. But. I'm still enjoying myself. Yeah. Of course, I'm still trying to, I'm enjoying myself. I'm just trying to find myself again now. And like, I'm not out here on no pitching thing or whatnot. But one thing that I, I, I do look forward to the most is like winning with someone. Yeah. Do you bro. get me? Like That's winning on your feeling. own is not, the, it's just not the same. It's like the when I, feeling. like, it was so good, like having little wins and then going back to someone I got a and thing with and win. sharing the yeah. win and we discuss it or whatever and she rates me. Bro, but imagine winning together, bro. Yeah, like, exactly. She's literally yeah, like yeah, this yeah. Yeah, and yeah. you both won. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. Come, yeah. I want you to win. I want, you, you understand what, what I'm saying? But then sometimes, there's, there's power, bro, do you know what's mad? You may think that you're winning with her but she may not even see it as winning. That's what's so mad. Do you know what? Sometimes, yeah, as men, yeah, we we think we're doing the right thing in I terms know. of work. Yeah, I'm telling and you. And we are just missing the... Bro, you, bro. my brother, bro. we're missing the most... Bro, it's so little. It can just be like... I know. A cuddle, bro. I hate it. It can be like something so minuscule. A text. a text, brother. A text. Showing up to the yard. Well, yeah, go on, yeah. chilling. Well, come meet them. Come. Meet the mom. The yeah. Chill out. Yeah, Do you know what I mean? The, the littlest... The littlest thing, bro. Yeah, and yeah. we're just thinking, nah, man's got a... Yeah. Now, in, the past, I, in the past, I fucked up with that. Brother. <laughs> but it's not, bro. But yeah. it's... I don't... Sometimes, I don't think... It's society, bro. Look look at what we've been imploded with in our, in our minds with provider. Big boys don't cry. You yeah, need yeah. to make sure this is this and this and this, bro. You have to be... Chucky at the end of the day you yeah. got to pay you got to make sure this is you got a provider over your head it says provider yeah. that's it do you get what I'm saying so bro we're brainwashed bro I hear that I hear that it's a big conversation that boy we can unpack that another day as well still but do you know what this summertime if I'm single I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna indulge a tad bit I'm gonna I'm sorry if it's do you know what for, if 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 I'm not if we ain't not you understand what I'm saying? If we if there's no companionship like that, I might have a few weeks. Do you know what? Really and cause it's, out there I might do that, brother. I might have a, I might have a few weeks. Cause it's I'm summer. Off. Cause Why it's not? summer. I can't lie to you. That is when it's crack crack city. I might just have. Oh, a month. it's hard, brother. I might just have a month. And bro, this 
You live you live in West though? Yeah, I live in West. Yeah, it's peak for you. Nah, nah, trust me. Self, I got self control and all these type of things. And and to be honest with you, I know I'm not talking about. No, you see what he no, did? No, but hold on. He did no, deep it, brother. Deep it. I'm. I can preempt when I want to do the mad one. Yeah, because like, yeah. I'm in that position, kinda. Yeah, yeah. Like my thing, not in a funny one, bro. But like, I'm. I don't have to take everything that comes my way. Of course. Sometimes yeah. I'm on a vibe of that. <laughs> yeah, like you, that. Listen, sometimes if you see a couple, like, <laughs> I just got, you know what so I mean? You're just glitching them. <laughs> That's crazy. Okay. One thing that everyone needs to know about, it could be anything. Death anything. Pause. Anything. One thing that people need to know about. Um, Spoken Movement will be debuting next year, Family Honor. No, what, what can someone go and see here watch right right now like what like tell me one thing that people need to know about or could see be a sock it could, could be, be anything a tree anything oh that's mad anything. um i've got one um while you're thinking about it um there's I've a documentary yeah that you could watch yeah it's by some of you like if you're watching this pod you'll know that one of my favorite brands is Filling Pieces. These guys from Amsterdam, their shit is super, super, super cold. Anyway, yeah, yeah. They got a documentary that's on their YouTube channel now, yeah, which tells you a lot about like the brand, the beginning of it, and, like all the ups and downs and all these type of things. And it's shot, it's really what, it's done really, really well. That's dope. So, um, so yeah, go and, yeah, go and check, go and check that out. They are definitely my guys. And uh, well. How can I get free, please, I beg you. Go on quickly. Um, follow us, spoken underscore movement. Um, read the Bible if you can, um, and check out this new artist. I think you probably heard about her, um, Drea Mack. Oh yeah, yeah, Drea Mack, yeah, Drea Mack. Spell it: D R E Y A space Mack M A C, yeah. and Selassie, and Dion Reed. I'm sorry, I have to. No, bro, no, you can't listen, bro. You I'm can't sorry. just ream up on me. Yeah, I'm yeah. sorry. I'm just sorry, yeah, bro. stick I'm with sorry. one. Tell me the like one main one. That's crazy, Just Drea Chucky, Mac. Bro. Who's Drea Mac? Who's it? Who? Drea Mac. All right, Drea cool. Mac. I've got one song as well, quickly. One song. One is called 150 Hours, yeah? 150 Hours is by T.E. Dines. T.E. Dines. 150 Hours. hours. Mega Dines. Freestyle. It's on all of them things or whatnot. Bro, honorable shout out to you. You know, we Love spoke me, through DM and that. Yeah, bro, and I this appreciate This is a positive you, thing like, that can happen from that. I always t- say, I'm just about having interesting conversations with interesting people. Love like, me, at the moment now, I can see in the podcast world, there's like, everyone's regurgitating the same guests. So I'm just trying to see if I can just, you know what I <laughs> mean? Did a little yeah. Bit of that. Huh? We did a little yeah, bit of that, yeah. <laughs> yeah. But, um, but yeah, love. Um, love man thanks for coming through bro I love really appreciate bro. it you'll appreciate be back you, again man. soon God bless man um, thanks for listening everyone oh do you know what we're part like like in it like, subscribe come on yeah, like subscribe 100k like, like, stop like. doing that you understand what I'm saying come just on. go down there you see the thing just click it bam subscribe yeah bagel king love oh shit yeah bagel king bagel bite yeah nah, bagel, bagel king, king. Love. bagel bro, king love king. bro the only bagel that we acknowledge <laughs> is bite yeah king, <laughs> 